This is a penny. Actually, this is five Malaysian sen, which is worth about a penny, but you get the point. This is a penny, and you may have heard the adage that if you double a penny every day for a month, you'll end up with a surprisingly large amount of money. But there's one missing element that people who talk about doubling pennies always forget to include, and it's a huge lesson that's very important for anyone trying to build wealth. I'm going to tell you all about it right now. Hey guys, I'm Andrew Henderson here at Nomad Capitalist. We help successful entrepreneurs and investors with everything from offshore tax savings to second citizenships to new investment opportunities around the world. You can learn more at nomadcapitalist.com. And if you're looking to learn more lessons about building your wealth overseas, just comment penny below and I'll do more videos like this. But today I want to talk about this doubling a penny a day idea that you've heard. I remember I first heard this back in like second or third grade and people were amazed by how if you take one penny today and you double it, tomorrow you've got two cents, you do it again, then you've got four cents, eight cents, 16 cents, all the way for an entire month, for 30 days. Now, I went to public school, but by my calculations, if you keep doing that every day for a month, you'll end up with about $5.3 million. That's tremendous, and it's really a testament to the power of compound interest. As they say, if you understand it, you earn it. If you don't understand it, you pay it. So it's really important that we understand just how quickly you can grow your money. But here's the element that no one ever talks about in this equation. Certainly that they didn't talk about back in second grade, and that's taxes. Now, for many people in the world, you don't think about taxes because someone else is paying your taxes for you. You have a job, your employer withholds the taxes, or in some parts of the world, they just give you a net payment and they just pay the taxes on top of it. You don't even think about taxes. And so it's easy to understand why you would forget that important wealth killing element of taxation when you look at doubling your pennies. But let's go through and just assume that you're gonna pay a 30% capital gains tax rate. And let's just assume that as you double your pennies, every day you're basically realizing that capital gain and you're paying the rate each day. You're paying the tax every day. So the first day you have your penny, the second day you double it to two cents, but the government comes in and they take 30% of that extra penny, your capital gain. It's a short-term capital gain in this case, right? So they're taking 30% of that, not an unheard of tax rate for a short-term capital gain, but now instead of having two cents, you have 1.7 cents. And then you do that again, and then they take their cut of the subsequent 1.7 cent gain, okay? So they take about half a cent, and you keep doing that over and over and over again. And guess what happens at the end of the month? You have about 50 grand. If that rate was 35%, you'd barely have 20 grand. If you lower the rate down into the 20s, you might have 100 grand. But you can see the difference between 20, 50, $100,000 and 5.3 some million dollars. It's a dramatic difference. Everyone forgets the taxation. And this is why the stuff that we talk about here at Nomad Capitalist is so important. Because if you are constantly having to step to the side and give the government a good chunk of your trading profits, your business profits, the profits from whatever your income is, if you're constantly letting them come in and take, 30% sounds pretty good to me in most Western countries, but if you're letting them come in and take 30, 40, 50% or even more of your money every time you make it, you are seriously impacting your ability to grow wealth. And that is impacting your ability to create a legacy. It's uh, impacting your ability to pass money on to future generations. It's also impacting your ability to grow your business or to grow your trading today. You have less money to grow with. You cannot have as much of an impact because the government is always there taking your money. This is more dramatic than most people expect. Now let's take an example of a guy who came to me recently. He's making about $600,000 a year. He's 25 years old. He's got a whole life ahead of him. And he is making money trading in the markets. And so he's constantly paying short-term capital gains tax rates. He's paying a couple hundred thousand dollars uh, in tax right now in the United States. Now imagine, he's a guy who started from zero, made a few trades and just gradually built it up, much like the penny example. He started with mere pennies and now he's trading with hundreds of thousands of dollars, soon to be millions of dollars. Imagine what that extra $200,000 that he's been paying every year in taxes would do if he were trading that you would see parabolic growth. And imagine what would happen just doing that over the next 10 years. Not a month, but the next 10 years. Imagine with that extra $200,000 every year back to work for him. 
it's going to be a lot more than $2 million. We're probably talking well into the eight figures that he's going to make just by reinvesting the money that he saved by no longer giving it to his business partners in the government. Okay. And so you can then take that and apply that for whatever period of time you want. One year, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. This is the missing piece that a lot of folks who want to retire early, I believe, are not paying attention to, where if they kept more of their money and stopped giving so much of it away, they would have a lot more money to live on. They could retire even earlier. They could retire better. Not all of us want to retire. Many of us want to keep working. But we want to see the fruits of our labor. And if you look at it from the perspective of, hey, I'm paying $200,000 in taxes, you may not think it's that significant because, hey, I made 600000 in my client's example. But when you look at it from the perspective of what is that 200000 year after year after year become when invested back into your business, back into your trading, when it goes to buy your house for cash, when it goes to pay for things in cash, whatever it is where you're putting that money, imagine the impact that's going to have. Almost anyone successful be could become a decamillionaire in their lifetime by following this. And yet, if they were to stay in their home country, in their high-tax Western country, and give a lot of their money away to the government, they might barely be a millionaire or barely a multimillionaire. That is the difference over not even a lifetime, but a short period of time. Doubling a penny a day is a great example of just how the government is impacting your ability to build long-term wealth. And Robert Kiyosaki, who is the author, of course, of Rich Dad Poor Dad, he's speaking at our conference, Nomad Capitalist Live, he has said, savers are losers. Now, I don't entirely agree with him on that, but I kind of entirely don't agree with him on that because my perspective is I'm not given 40% of what I earned away to some government to squander. I'm able to take the money that I'm not paying to them anymore and save part of it and be more conservative in my lifestyle and know that I do have some savings to fall back on. But if you're living in the Western cultures that Robert Kiyosaki is talking to and you're trying to save money, you're never going to get ahead very well because of this exact example. It's very hard to save when you have a business partner taking a big chunk of your profits from those savings every time they come around. That's a key lesson. To me, this is perhaps one of the most clear examples of why going where you're treated best is so important. How can Nomad Capitalist help you? Four ways. Number one, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to make sure you get our new video every day. Number two, get a copy of Nomad Capitalist, the book. You'll learn a lot of my personal experiences over a dozen years of studying this stuff, as well as exactly some of the strategies that you can use to build your nomad capitalist plan. Number three, if you're not sure where to start, but you want to come and learn from my team and I, you want to come and mingle with like-minded people, learn more about our live conference, Nomad Capitalist Live. It's coming up soon. And number four, if you want some help right now because you've got a burning issue, you need something solved, you want to lower your taxes, get a second passport, or build the Nomad Capitalist lifestyle of your dreams, go to nomadcapitalist.com and click on Become a Client.